All right, guys. Here we are at my new obstacle. Um, I've already tried it once. I finally made it up. And now I will take it again and see if I make it up again. Stand by. Oh. Ran over my tripod.
Well, there you go. Not quite as hard as I expected it to be, especially on the third and fourth tries. I had it in four high most of the time. I, did, I think I did it the, the last time I did it in four low, first gear. So there's a new obstacle to test out my Jeep with. All right, later. All right, folks, well, I just parked the Jeep after doing the obstacle. And I've noted, I noticed I had a lot of binding going on in the steering. It's especially after, after I came up the hill. I'm guessing a lot of that has to do with the automatic locker I've got in the front. And I'm not sure what else. But um, especially after, after I took the hill, the steering seemed to be binding a lot. And then I'd shift it back into two-wheel drive, and it would still bind up a little bit. And I felt really pretty uncomfortable. So um, I'm contributing that to the, the front locker, which could be a good reason not to have the automatic locker on the front axle. But here we're coming up on the little hill. That was pretty fun. I didn't record the first couple attempts because I would get hung up. I would get hung up right about here ish on the first step, but then I started to attack it with a little bit more gas and I was able to make it up fairly easily the last several times. It didn't seem, it didn't feel quite as steep from the driver's seat as I thought it would. I guess next time I'll try to come up over here on this, this little bump. It's kind of hard to tell, maybe. Later on, but yeah, it's a nice little hill. My Jeep was able to do it pretty, fairly easy. The first couple times I had it in four low, first gear. I've still got 40 PSI in my tires. Pretty much exactly the same way I drive it every day. I didn't do anything special to it. Maybe, maybe at some point I'll tackle this hill, I've still got to cut out all the little stumps and sticks and stuff that are that are up in there though. But, but yeah, at some point this is a little bit steeper. Maybe I'll try this at some point later on. Could be another obstacle. But here's the first one. A good little test for the Jeep. You can see I made a little up there. I did that in two-wheel drive. Looks like I scraped something. Uh, that's probably just wheel spin. Did I come down on that side? Or where was that? No, that might be. Oh, let's zoom out on that. That looks like. Did I come down that hill? Maybe it is wheel spin. Oh. No, I think I stalled out. That's why. That's for my trailer hitch, probably. I stalled out and then had to back up. And then my trailer hitch dug into the dirt there. That's what that looks like. So, But even that spot's fairly easy. Like I said, I did that in two-wheel drive once I gave it enough gas. I stalled out the first time. And I stalled out a couple times on this hill, too. Just because I didn't wasn't giving it enough gas. But that was a lot of fun. It's kinda first time I did it. Actually that's probably the steepest the steepest hill I think I've taken that Jeep on. Especially in the dirt. So kinda nerve wracking at first, especially once the steering starts to get jacked up. Once I hit the top of the hill, the steering was really was really terrible. 
Not exactly sure why, except for, you know, maybe the locker. But other than that, once I put it back in the two-wood drive and drive it backwards a little bit and then forward again, the steering seemed to free up on me. But it was really weird at first. I guess next I'm gonna try this spot. I plan on making this whole little hillside nothing but obstacle to test going up and down with. I need to get my Suburban on this, see how my Suburban handles it. <laughs> Won't that be fun? That should be a that should be a good time. I might have to get up some speed though with the Suburban. But I don't know, we'll see. And then eventually um I'd like to make this whole this whole hillside part of my obstacle course. Different levels of hill. I was thinking maybe someday actually covering this with concrete. So it'll be a concrete obstacle. Don't have to worry about getting mud and dirt everywhere. And then once I cover it with concrete, I won't have to worry about cutting the grass. <laughs> I spent all day yesterday out here with the, the bush cutter hacking back all these weeds and the chainsaw, cutting down the sticks. Like that little log right there I had to cut off and you can see that spot right there I cut off. There's a few more spots in there that I had to cut off. There were just stumps sticking out of the ground. And to cut them off. But and overall that was pretty fun. I had a, I had a good time. I, my Jeep's my daily driver though, so I have to be I do have to be kind of careful with it. The steering issue was scared me for a minute there. I thought I had some major issues. But everything seems to be fine right now. Anyway, that's it for me. I will see you later. This is Rick from Lifted Off Road. Have fun and stay lifted. Out.